everyone. I uh, hope you're having a, a good week. Um, I got uh, a little busier with work than I expected, so I wasn't able to make any videos uh, for the last like week, week and a half. Um, I did actually plan on having a couple that um, were going to come out, and then they just kind of fell flat on their face, and I figured I needed more time. Uh, so expect uh, a fair amount of videos this week, and if I'm wearing the same shirt in all of them, it's because I'm trying to film as many tonight as I can. Um, but what I want to look at today is Photop. So it's a uh, photo editor that's uh, browser based and it's free. Um, and it's strangely similar to Photoshop. Um, it, it does have a lot of the same features, but they're kind of watered down. Uh, but what we kind of need it to do for Lumion, it does work really well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have the uh, folder open here. And so um, this can actually accept Photoshop files. So a quick example, if I just drop this in, I quickly just put this in a file and saved it inside of Photoshop. Uh, so that works no problem. Uh, then obviously you can just drag your image straight into it. Uh, and there is just a couple of things that I'm going to show you um, how to do. Um, because uh, I did just have to play around with it and kind of figure out where, where things are. And I also didn't want to make this like a super long video. So I am going to try and just get right to the point. Um, because, you know, I could probably take like 30 minutes showing off some features. But I feel like most people probably just want to play with it um, themselves. So uh, what you can do is once you drag this in, if you're happy with kind of like how that looks, you're not adding anything else in, but you just want to touch it up. Um, you can go to the uh, auto color here and it will just kind of brighten up the scene a little bit. I, I was kind of finding that if you go to like auto contrast and stuff like that, you do get a very similar um, effect to color, but it just kind of depends on what uh, image you're bringing in. So if you go to auto contrast, I also recommend that you go to filter, sharpen, just like that. And so it, it can be a little bit strong, um, but I do find that that helps kind of bring out some of the edges uh, in the photo. Uh, you definitely see it uh, in the rug there. And um, the other thing that I just wanted to show quickly um, is how to uh, make a gloss mask um, inside of uh, Photop to bring in a Lumion. Um, because this is one that like, if this is the only thing you're doing in Photoshop, it kind of sucks that you have to pay that much for Photoshop. So this is a really great tool because you can export uh, targets. Um, so that um, well, it won't really be a problem. Typically, um, I know some people started using .dds um, probably around this time last year, I think. But um, what actually happened is uh, Lumion made it so that the .dds uh, just gets automatically uh, created whenever you bring in a texture. So if you just want to use the Targa to make a gloss mask, you're not really getting penalized, uh, as far as I'm aware, at least. Um, so I just have my a folder here. So this is just a polygon um, texture. Um, and so what you should see if you downloaded the metalness, workf metalness workflow, which is what you want, uh, if you are using Lumion, you're going to see your color, your metalness, which we don't need. So just for this, I'll delete this one. And then you're going to see two normal maps, most likely. Um, you can see here, normal 16. Uh, this one's a TIFF. This just has more information, like it's technically sharper. Um, but for this one, I'm just going to use the regular normal map. So I'm going to drag that in. There it is. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to take the roughness map and I'm going to drag it up here where the tabs are. And as you can see, it's just going to pop open its own tab. Now. I have talked about this in other videos, but Lumion does not use roughness maps. Like technically you could put this in the normal map, but it's going to look, it's basically going to be the opposite uh, effect of what you want because roughness and gloss masks, masks, uh, maps, sorry, are the same thing. They're just inverted. So if we click on here and we hit control I, now it becomes a gloss map. So then what we're going to do is we're going to just make sure that we're select, uh, have this window selected. We're going to hit control A. And then you should see this uh, outline around here. You can hit control Z or you can hit control X. Uh, we're going to go back into the uh, normal map here. And uh, we're going to go to channels. We're going to hit new down here. Um, and you should see alpha one pop up. Click on alpha one, control V. And then you should see that uh, this comes in. Now, if you turn off the RGB, you'll see that this is the gloss map or the, yeah, the gloss map. Um, but when we turn on the normal map, then you have the gloss mask, which basically is the normal map that also has the gloss map uh, included in it so that Lumion has more um, information. Uh, so what I can do is I can just go up to export uh, as more 
uh, TGA, and I guess you actually could do uh, DDS. I didn't actually realize until now that that's in there. Um, but I just had to use Targa, and like I said, I believe Lumion converts it anyway, so I'm not going to bother. Um, so we'll save it, uh, and there that is. So I'll just drag this, oh, just drag this into the folder, and then we'll just take it into Lumion quickly, make sure that it worked. Uh, so I'm just going to find a quick plane, of something. I feel like I've brought stuff like this in so many times. Um, so I'll drag this, I'll just go over here, I guess. Uh, okay. So now I'm going to load in that, uh, that metal map. So we'll go standard, uh, I just need to find where I put this. And I think it's in here. So there's the color map. And then we're just going to quickly find the, uh, the gloss mask. This will just take a second. So normal map. I believe that's it. Yeah, so this one was a, uh, this was like a worn metal. So obviously we don't want to turn that up too much, but you can kind of just play with this a little bit. Um, bring in the gloss mask will actually give you like more, um, more detail. Let me see if I can actually get a better example. Um, it's kind of hard to see with this. Maybe I turn the exposure down. Yeah. So if we turn the exposure down, you can see it a little bit better. Um, so this is just going to give, it basically just gives the normal map more information. So you get a more accurate normal map. Um, and it can also help control certain areas like Lumion will kind of, the normal map kind of says like how to bounce off. Of the object but it doesn't really say how like glossy something is uh, and you can just adjust the glossiness slider except that that's kind of like a blanket so if the material has all the same glossiness that's great but for something like this where the metal is worn uh, you're gonna get uh, it's just not gonna look as realistic without doing the uh, map so the ability to do this now with a free browser-based uh, photo editor is great um, because if this is really the only thing you're using Photoshop for, um, you know, paying like, I think like 30 us dollars a month, like something around that it is, uh, you know, fairly expensive, especially like, paying for basically $500 a year, um, to just like get slightly better normal maps in Lumion. Um, so it's a really great, uh, tool. Let me know, uh, if you're going to be using photo P in the future. Um, if you have trouble kind of figuring out how to use something, uh, in photo P, just let me know. Um, and I can try and like kind of figure it out, um, myself and just see if I can kind of get past that hurdle. Um, but, um, yeah, if you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it. If you could subscribe to the channel, uh, it really motivates me to keep, um, trying to find new content, uh, to show you guys and, uh, you know, just kind of grow as uh, artists together. If you are already subscribed, thank you for checking out my videos and supporting the channel. And I will see you all in the next one. Have a great night.